what's up rookies i have another cool drug information question today a doctor just called me and she had a question about a patient she's treating for rosacea the patient is in the emergency room she says rosacea is pretty bad and he's going to get admitted and she wanted to order metronidazole topical gel for this patient but we do not have the topical gel we only have the vaginal gel she said what's the big deal can we just use the vaginal gel on the face and I was like, mm, let me look into that and get back to you. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Let me flip my screen and talk about it. So I went straight to metronidazole and I went to administration. And we have administration instructions here for topical and for intravaginal. And intravaginal clearly says that this formulation is for vaginal use only and reading further it doesn't really give me any explanation why like what is it about the vaginal formulation that you cannot use on the face hmm. so i thought about pulling up the package insert which i have here also and the first thing you see when you open up the package insert which you can google it also says for intervaginal use only and further down on the warnings for vaginal use only not for use in eyes on the skin or in the mouth but it still doesn't tell me why what is it about the vaginal formulation that makes it unsuitable to apply on the skin? Um, so the next thing I, I'm thinking is look at the ingredients to see if there's anything on there that cannot be used on the face. My favorite resource to look at a drug's ingredient is clinical pharmacology. So in clinical pharmacology, I searched up metronidazole topical gel, and I have the ingredients here. And I also searched up metronidazole vaginal gel, and here are the ingredients. And in doing a side-by-side -side comparison, here's the metronidazole topical gel, here is the metronidazole uh, vaginal gel. The, they have the same ingredients, exactly the same ingredients, except the vaginal gel has a buffer gel, which the topical gel does not. Which leads me to the question, what does a buffer gel do? I googled it and it's a gel formulated to maintain the natural protective acidity of the vagina so it looks like this buffer gel increases the acidity of the vaginal gel to match the pH of the uh, vaginal area so it may be that they don't want, it may be that it's just too acidic for the skin and may cause some burning or something. There you go. First of all, uh, Lexicom and the metronidazole package insert do specifically say metronidazole vaginal gel is for vaginal use only, not to use in any other areas. But I knew it wasn't going to satisfy the provider because she felt it was the same active ingredient. Why not just use it off-label, so to speak, and use it on the face? So I had to do some more digging. That's when I went to clinical pharmacology and figured out that this buffer gel that's present in the vaginal formulation is not present in, in the topical uh, formulation. So I kind of had something to say to the provider to discourage her for using that on the skin 
I did say that it's probably more acidic and likely not um, safe to use on the skin. And she was okay with that. And we agreed on ordering the appropriate formulation for the patient, which is going to arrive tomorrow. In the meantime, she's going to figure out something else to use um, for the patient to calm those um, rosacea symptoms. If you like the video, hit the like button, comment if you have any questions, but don't forget to follow, especially if you're a pharmacy student. I have a lot of good tips here once in a while. Until next video, stay blessed. Bye-bye.